the book of Psalms, chapter 9, verse 17. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget our power. Okay, first and foremost, I'd like to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekha, Kadash, the minors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to the item that's pushing the truth and sincerity. Lord willing, this video be edifying first and foremost to the whole elect, then to those that cleave to the body. In today's lesson, the topic is just going to be a friendly reminder of the uh, of our people, you know, and also the wicked being unmindful. All right, are the consequences for get for forgetting our power, man? All right, so the Lord is about to remind the unmindful. You see. First starting with his sanctuary first, right? Okay, because he said, I'm going to get my sanctuary first, meaning what? The wicked of my people, okay? Then I'm going to get the wicked of the nations, man. The Lord said that he going to turn a man to hell that forget him, all right? And to forget something, let's look at this in the online, all right? It says, to forget, this is the online etymology. Once again, I like to use this, all right? It's more, you know. You know, it was convenient for you, all right? As long as we, it's through edifying, it, it, you know, I don't knock a man for getting what he get, all right? It says, the old English, forget, forget it, forgetting, it says to lose the power of recalling to mind. Now, in the scriptures, the Lord said, I will have you call to mind, or I will put you what? In remembrance, man, all right? So the Lord is not, you know, one that a man should be forgetful of the, of the uh, miracles and things that he performed in the past for the people that for, forgot him that was before us, all right? Once again, every person is, is back in reincarnation, man. So these were the same people forgetful of him now was forgetful of him then. And the Lord, is the Lord, and when the Lord reminded the people of his, of his demon-like power, that's why he, uh, he, the name was given unto him, Alashaja, which is, means demon-like power. He reminded the people. So as there's nothing new under the sun, as the, as the Lord have reminded the people of his power from Egypt to Sodom and Gomorrah to, you know, all of the destroying and destruction the Lord have caused to come upon the people because of they being the un, unmindful of the power of our, uh, I mean, of the... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, of the own um, judgment of our power, then the Lord is going to call the mind, all right, that they remember it again. You see, this is the word forget. Lose the power of recalling to mind. So our people have forgotten our power as far as what the law, statutes, and commandments. That's how our people go away from uh, forgetting our power. But the nations is not given the law, statutes, and commandments. So they they don't remember our power anyways. The Lord put it in their mind for them to be in their pride, to believe in themselves. All right? It says, fail to remember, right? So what the Lord going to do, he's going to educate everybody again, <laughs> whether that by judgment, whether it be by uh, salvation or destruction. Like he said, I'm going to sweep the besom uh, uh, of this place, man. It says to neglect inadvertently man you see so people are neglecting the lord right now on the planet earth and the way that you neglect them is to go away from his law statutes and commandments our people all right the wicked gonna neglect the lord period he didn't even design them to to, to uh to please him according to righteousness now they do please him according to the wickedness or according to his will or his purpose but according to righteousness they fell at that miserably it says, a weight, a miss, opposite. It says, to lose grip on, all right? To forget or forget. It says, dismiss from the mind to stop remembering. Be unable to remember. Now, remember, the video is a friendly reminder. <laughs> forget to do something. Leave behind intentionally, you see? So it says, this is going to be the consequences for, un for, for, for forgetting. You see, it says uh, Isaiah 
I mean, Psalms 9 and 17, the wicked shall be turned into hell and the nations that forget our power, man. <laughs> so is they going to go to hell where it's burning? All right. No, their conditions is going to fall from whatever condition they in right now. Because this is, believe it or not, this is heaven. This is even a, uh, this is the wicked heaven of heavens, but this is even a poor man's heaven right now. Because the hour and the day coming where that poor, that, that, uh, uh, the, the, the poor of the earth, two thirds of the poor of the earth, of, of the lost people. Okay. They're going to be turning to hell. They're actually in heaven. You get, you get your 50 cents and your, and your futures and your, you know, uh, your Floyd Mayweather's. All right. They're in they heaven. So they're going to be turned into the hell. Meaning what? Their condition that they was once in. And on this side, it's going to be what? Changed to a lower state. You see? And all the nations that forget our power. It's going to be the same. Okay? This is a... Uh... Because the Lord haven't forgotten anything we have done. All right? Whether it be from our birth, our first carnation all the way to, to our... Uh... All our reincarnation, the Lord have remembered everything. That's why he said when you pray, pray for your form or your former, your present and your past sin, like your past and your future past, you know, coming your sins you're gonna come up on. All right. This heavy too. This is Psalms 77. Let's see. This is a psalm of Asaph. It says, I'm going to start at five. All of it good. I have considered the days of old because the righteous going to remember, all right? The things of the Lord. And they're going to return. And by way of remembering the Lord, you return. You see? You repent. You return. And then you react, all right? And you start to serve the Lord. I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. I call to remember my song in the night. I commune with my own heart and my spirit made diligent search. Will the Lord cast off forever? And will he be favorable no more? These are all question marks. Is his mercy clean gone forever? Do it his promise fail forevermore? More question marks. Had God forgotten to be gracious? Question mark. Had he in anger shut up his tender mercies? Question mark. Salah. And I say this is my infirmity, but I remember, I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. All right. So in order to be on the right hand of the Most High, the Lord is going to remember you for good. Good. All right. Now remember, the Lord is going, the Lord is he who remembers everything. All right. Now it's either you get remembered for righteousness or you get remembered for wickedness. That's why I say you're going to be turned into hell that forget. All right. So it's about the remembrance of, of uh, righteousness towards the Lord. All right. And, and yeah, that's how you get on the right hand side of the Lord. All right. Because the Lord mercy is not clean, gone forever. His promise don't fail forever more. I'm answering the question marks. Will the Lord cast off forever? No. And will it be favorable no more? No. Because he's going to favor a particular people. All right. So in our infirmities. All right. We got to remember that when we was whole. You see. Not that we sick. We have to remember that the Lord made us sick. All right. Because when we was whole. We uh we did the things to be sick man. And now when we became sick. All right. We done the things and took the medicines to become whole man. All right. So the Lord going to remember that. All right. Now. The consequences of you forgetting what you need to do to the Lord is going to be as such. All right. This with our people right here. This doing around them in 32 and 18. It says of the rock that beget thee, thou art unmindful. You see of the rock that beget thee, thou art unmindful. Let's get this word right here. Let's see what it say. Right. Let's see what this word unmindful say. You know. Because our people don't remember the power of our Lord, but the elect do. That's why we fear before his, his mighty and strong name. 
to deprive. Forget to deprive. Thou must recollect, yet thou hast forgotten. All right, it's Shaya. Okay. Yep. Yeah. To deprive, man. Meaning, must recollect. It says, of the rock that beget thee, thou art unmindful and has forgotten Yahweh that formed thee, man. All right. And when Yahweh saw it, he abhorred them because of the provoking of his sons and of his daughters. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be. So the Lord, like, I'm going to remember their end. Though yet I see their beginning, I'm going to hide my face from them and see what their end shall be. For they are a very forward generation, children in whom is no faith. Which uh, Jake take that up on the, 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 his oppressors, man. Jake follow behind his oppressors, man, and be like the wicked of the other nations, man. So the Lord going to judge him as he judged the other nations. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not a power. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities, and I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. No people are over us right now. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. This prophecy has came to pass. For a fire is kindled in my anger, and shall burn into the lowest hell, all right? And shall consume the earth with an increase and set on fire the foundations of the mountains, all right? Which are the, are the, are the bigger governments, all right? Mountains represent governments in, a, in, in, uh, in the scriptures. I will heap mischiefs upon them. I will spend my arrows upon them, all right? All this is good, but you know, that's the point. Yeah, the Lord is angry. Yet with our people, man. Yet with our people, what? Not learn righteousness, man. This is Isaiah. If he show favor to the wicked, they ain't gonna learn righteousness anyway. So, like you say, once again, it's yet for our people, you see. This is Isaiah 17. Of course, I gotta get this seven. At that day, shall a man, that day is the day that the Lord gonna do that which is uh written in the scriptures all right upon a people well i'm gonna read 10 and then jump back to seven i'm gonna read all this man let's start from seven and go to ten at that day shall a man look to his maker and his eyes shall have respect unto the holy one of israel where the lord about to put his uh respect back into the earth you know hey you about to start putting respect on the name yahweh why yahweh shah all right? And your maker is your creator, man, which is Yahweh. It says, and he shall not look to the altars, the work of his hands, neither shall respect that which his fingers have made, either the groves or the images. Meaning what? You ain't going to be able to worship the things that your hand. They ain't going to be able to save you. And that day shall his strong cities be as a forsaken bow and an utmost branch, which they left because of the children of Israel, and there shall be a desolation. This is the point. Because thou hast forgotten the power of thy salvation and has not been mindful of the rock of thy strength. See the the the, the rock of the rock that beget thee, thou art unmindful. You forgot the man that formed you. You see? So this said and do it around him and Isaiah. Because thou hast forgotten the power of thy salvation. And has not been mindful of the rock of thy strength. Therefore shall thou plant pleasant plants and shall set it with strange slips, man. You see? But the Lord going to do what, man? He going to, uh, uh, he going to, he's going to make sure, man, matter of fact, me, let me get it. Translation. The law going to intervene in your plant, man. You ain't going to be able to plant it. All right? You know, but look, hey, if the Lord is not unforgetful, right? Why why are we sitting back unforgetting the Lord, man? This is Jeremiah 2.
and 31. O generation, see ye the word of Yahweh, which <laughs> that's the reminder. Have I been a wilderness unto Israel, a land of darkness? Wherefore say my people, we are lost, we will come no more unto thee. Why have we forgotten the Lord? Haven't had him in all our thoughts, you see? Can a maid forget her ornaments or a bride her attire? Yet my people have forgotten me days without number. <laughs> they got a scripture that says not in, in, in all, all thoughts. Let me see something. Yeah, this is Psalm 10 and 4. The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after our power. God is not in all his thoughts. Nah. Not a wicked, all right. Uh the 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 wicked, the sons of the wicked, which is Esau, all right. A hey, his thought, his pride in his countenance, he, he ain't gonna seek after the Lord. It's not in all his thoughts. Well, two thirds of our people on this side is not gonna seek after the Lord. The Lord is not in all their thoughts, man. All right, they don't care about the Lord over here, man. All right. As the wicked say it in his heart, I shall not be moved for I shall never see adversity. He's prideful. Our people in their wickedness, they think that they ain't going to never be judged. That's why the law say, because sentence is not um, executed speedily, it is fully setting the sons of men to execute evil. You see? To carry on in it, man. And they have what? Forgotten the Lord days without number. But the Lord about to remember, about to help them remember, man. All right, this Hosea. 10. So like it. Hosea 8 and 14. And hey, there's accounts for where our people forgot the law and went did strange things and sacrificed a strange God. And guess what, man? The Lord always visiting them in their iniquities, man. So the law about to visit now. This is um Hosea 8. And 14, for Israel had forgotten his maker. Israel is he who is surnamed by the Lord, all right? Israel is who the Lord loved above all nations, not above all people, okay? They're only, they're, they're his only lovers, as a matter of fact. For Israel had forgotten his maker and built the temples. And Judah had multiplied fenced cities. But I will send a fire upon his cities, and it shall devour the places thereof. And the Lord about to put a friendly reminder through here of fire and brimstone, plagues and pestilence, man. And we said, you see? So this is a friendly reminder to those to whom it may concern, all right? Take heed to the message, man, all right? That the Lord don't be, unforg uh, that the Lord don't be unforgetful. Or be forgive, or be for rather be forgetful of you in a time when you cry unto him, man, that you may be saved. And those who not gonna take heed, hey, just keep being unmindful of the Lord, man. And we're gonna see how that where that gets you and what your end result shall be. But with that, man, until the next time I'm gonna see. Shalom.